Hello everyone. So I just wanted to make this video because yesterday Dead by Daylight did this Halloween patch where they have overhauled the UI to match this month's theme of Halloween and it is amazing I think. The new menu music sounds good and just this green tint and smoke, the pumpkins, it is beautiful I think. And I really love the tombstones and how they actually have names and quotes on it from the devs. So let's see these different UI menus now. Well, I guess the UI is pretty much the same, but the lighting is completely different. It's a lot darker on the sides. We got this ominous glow from the jack-o'-lanterns. The nurse got a new cosmetic. It's this awesome pumpkin head. I really like it. I played with it in a few games with her, and I really like how it illuminates my blade. Just makes it glow as I uh, hit survivors. So this is a really nice cosmetic. And look, they have a little message for us. Have a horribly good Halloween. Now, looking at the survivor side, we can see close-ups of the tombstones here in the back. And survivors got some Halloween items as well. So as you can see here, we got our Will-O-Wisp flashlights. They have 8 seconds of use, and they considerably increase friendly ghosts in your life. So if you've been running into a lot of mean ghosts, well... This flashlight will help you meet some friendly ones. And then we have this All Hallows Eve lunchbox. It's a brown med kit, but it glows and it has some stickers on it because you have to stay safe when you're out there trick-or-treating, you know? So you need the neon glow-in-the-dark stickers. So besides this menu music and everything, they just did some minor bug fixes, which you can look at in the patch notes. As always, I will link them below. Let us go ahead and see what the lobbies look like when we're actually trying to join a match as survivor and then as killer. So here's the survivor lobby. Looks pretty similar to the other screen. Just got this nice Halloween atmosphere here for us. And then here we have the killer side of things looking on the survivors in the green mist of Halloween. Now here, we'll just take a few moments to listen to this Halloween-themed music. And then next up, we have the announcement of the next DLC, Don't Fall Asleep. Here is the trailer, and I also post a link in the description. So 
So, obviously, everyone's thinking this new killer is going to be Freddy Krueger, or at least Freddy Krueger themed. And you can tell a lot from the trailer. Don't fall asleep. Freddy Krueger appears in people's dreams. The sound of the claws on metal. The metal claws on metal. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's probably going to be Freddy Krueger. And I think today, uh, later today, they're probably going to maybe say some of the perks. And if they don't say anything more about the DLC today, then I guess they're just building up the hype for Thursday. Because I'm pretty sure the DLC is going to release Thursday after the dev livestream. Because Dead by Daylight is one thing, and that's consistent. And they always release DLCs after their live streams. And they always release the DLC in the same week that they release the trailer for the DLC. So, this weekend, we're going to have this new killer and maybe even a new survivor. So, Freddy Krueger. I'm guessing his killer ability is gonna be centered around something with sleep and dreams, right? Because the DLC is called Don't Fall Asleep. So obviously his killer power is going to revolve around some kind yeah, of mechanic that could potentially make survivors drowsier than usual. Maybe as you're doing generators, you get sleepier. Or he'll have some kind of effect that he can place on you if he hits you. Maybe if he hits you, you can start getting drowsy or something. I'm thinking Freddy Krueger might be one of the killers with slower movement speed, similar to Huntress and Nurse and Hag. And that's because I think part of his killer ability is probably going to let him keep up with survivors some way. Because, you know, Freddy Krueger could appear in your dreams and kill people through their dreams so maybe he unlike other killers doesn't chase them outright but instead has to kind of nightmare them but who knows we'll find out soon that's just my speculation for now but i just wanted to make a quick video because i was surprised that they released this patch yesterday to halloween up the Dead by Daylight menus, and I knew they were going to do something for Halloween, but I wasn't expecting any changes until next week. So, hope you liked the video and liked the new UI, I certainly do, and enjoy the new cosmetics and music, and get hyped for Thursday, because we're getting new DLC. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, Go look in the fog and see you next time.